match on the card today is what should be a thrilling contest. A gorgeous summer's day here, the crowd all suitably dressed, ready for watching a day of cricket in the sun. Joining me now is Shane Warne. Well, Jonathan, this pitch will provide an even pace and bounce with the ball coming on nicely to the bat. So the batsmen should enjoy themselves out there. The bowlers will have to make full use of the new ball if they are to keep the score down. Line and length will be vital. It's going to be a crucial coin toss, so let's see which captain calls correctly. Looks like they're going to have a bowl. I'll have to wait and see if that was the right decision. Well, we've been looking forward to this match for a while, and it looks like we're about to get underway. The opening batsmen will want to make early inroads into the bowling attack to give themselves a fighting chance in this match. The fast bowler with the first over there. He's got the edge. That's beautifully delayed, the ball coming right out of the middle of the bat. He's found the gap with that one. Great shot, super. He just leaned into it and stroked it before. No ball. No ball. Got ball. What a beautiful stroke. That's not the right mind to bowl to this batsman. Four more. No run. The bowler concedes nine off the over. <laughs> Who's the most difficult bats when you had the bowl to, Shane? The most difficult batsman I've ever bowled to, uh, the two that stand out for me are Sachin Tendulkar and Brian Lara. Those two guys are the best batsmen of my time. Out! No. Big shout. That's out! That's a long walk back. We haven't scored many runs. Let's look at that again. New batsman's in for the New Zealanders. No run there.
they run there. Two runs conceded in the over there. That's the end of the fielding restrictions. Expect the captain to start changing things around now. That's a sensational shot. Pick the gap beautifully. Four runs. We gave the batsman too much room there. Four runs. Catch him. Great stop. The ball just runs out into the covers. Yes. They're appealing. Out. Let's take a look at that from another angle. So, new batsman at the crease. The ball just runs out. He's got him! Yet again, the batsman fails to follow the ball, and he's out. Let's have a look at the action replay. sure the new batsman will look to play himself in. That's the end of another over. Medium pacer to start a new over. Beautiful play, the ball coming right out of the middle of the bat. Smashed for four. Lovely timing there. He played that beautifully. Yes. That's four all the way. Cracking shot. He really does look in excellent form. Very good timing. If you want to show the kids the perfect way to play the shot, then there's a fine example. Great shot. Effortless. How do you seem to hit it? That's just the kind of shot that makes the fielding captain want to tear his hair out. Very unlucky. Back 
batsmen are looking for two. Well, the batsman was absolutely bamboozled by that one. It was brilliantly concealed and disguised by the bowler. Hugely expensive over. The leg spinner to start a new over. No ball. Brabham stands out as being the greatest of all time, but what do you think was the key to his success with the bat? Bradman uh, definitely stands as the best batsman of all time. Um, and Daylight second, probably. <laughs> but uh, the key to his success, I think, you know, whether it was the way he practiced up with a stump and a golf ball up against uh, the wall, uh, the water tank, whatever, he, however he did it, it must have just given him an unbelievable eye. And to have that ability to do that, it's actually quite difficult. Um, what stands out, he, you know, he used to always say, keep the ball along the ground. I'm not sure how many six as he hit but uh, he did keep the ball along the ground so he hardly got caught uh, I, i'm not exactly sure why it made him so best i think he just was the best and sometimes it's hard to say why someone's the greatest um, they just are and i think with bradman he was just such a remarkable player from the footage and the people that tell the stories about him the way he went about it he was so professional um, i had the privilege of meeting him with Sachin Tendulkar on his 90th birthday and uh, look, he was a, an outstanding uh, person, and it was great to have that time with him. He loved the game. Um, he's done everything in the game, and I don't think anyone will ever get close to him. Get it! He's put it down. No run scored. Seven runs came from that over. It's the medium pacer to bowl the last of his allotted overs. Good shot and good stop too. No runs off that delivery. Lovely shot, right out of the meat of the ball. The bowler looks most unimpressed with that. I think the ball like that too much.
no ball. One ball to Sundries. Back to him coming back for a second. He really struck that hard. Eight runs from that over. This is the last of his allotted overs. No ball. Yampar signaling a no ball. What a beautiful stroke. That's raced away through. If you want to show the kids the perfect way to play the shot, then there's a fine example. Got yes. ball. Batsmen are looking for two. Confident appeal. That was really tight, so the umpire's calling for the TV replay. Let's take a look at that from another angle. He needs to have some part of his bat behind the line. On the line is out. There's the signal, he's safe. The ball just runs out into the covers. That's when coming back for a second. Two more to the total. What makes a great spin bowler, Shane? What makes a great spin bowler? I think um, you have to be able to outthink batsmen. You have to have plans and the ability, basically, to spin the ball. That's what we are. We want fast bowlers to bowl fast. We want spin bowlers to be able to spin. This will be his final over then.
Exquisite shot. Great shot. That'll give him some confidence. Oh, lovely timing there. No run there. No ball. One ball to Sundries. That's beautiful play, the ball coming right out of the middle of the bar. And another four. That was beautifully put away for four. shot and another four what can I say he looks in top form today Catch him. Yeah. and there's a fielder underneath it and from another angle Left hand, right hand combination at the crease now. That's when they're coming back for two. Taking a bit of stick out there. This will be the last of his allotted overs, then. The power play will be in effect now. That's a sensational shot. That's cleared the infield. Four runs. I think the ball will like that too much. Nice shot. That was a textbook shot. That was a cracking shot. He really got in a good position there. That's when he came back for a second. That's two more. Confident appeal. That's out. Let's take a look at that from another angle.
Plenty of pressure on the new batsman then. No ball. One more to Sundries. Well, that's a cracking shot. Beautiful time. What a massive shot, right out of the ground. We won't see that again. That's a huge six. What can I say? He looks in top form today. How do you feel when a batsman pulled you for four, Shane? Look, when any, any batsman hit you for four, it doesn't matter what sort of shot it was, it uh, was annoying, but I'd always have another chance in the next ball. The seamer to start a new over there. The umpire is now signaling that the power play will be taken. Gone for more. That breakthrough now exposes the tail. Let's have a look at the action replay. The tail's exposed now. Great shot. That's just the kind of shot that makes the fielding captain of the tail his hair out. Very unlucky. Yes. They're having a shout. Got him! Let's take a look at that from another angle. Into the tail now. No run. Mix up here. That brings the innings to a close. He's getting a polite round of applause as he makes his way to the pavilion. The opening batsmen are vital to the innings. They must aim to score at a reasonable rate if this total is to be reached. The quick bowler to start the first over.
No run taken off that ball. No run scored. How important is concentration for a batsman? Concentration is vital to a batsman. As soon as you start to lose it, during innings, then you'll get yourself in trouble and probably get yourself out. No runs off that delivery. Tremendous timing. If you want to show the kids the perfect way to play the shot, then there's a fine example. Four runs from the over. No run. The run rate's climbing now. Exquisite shot. Great shot. He's hit that into the middle of next week. He really struck that beautifully. Four more, cracking shot. He really does look in excellent form. Oh, great shot. That was superb placement. Super shot. He really punched the ball away. That's raced away for four. He plays that shot really well and it brings in a lot of runs. No run there, the sort of can't get it away. That's a disastrously expensive over. Fielding restrictions are over. The captain now has a free hand to position his field as he desires. What a superb shot. He watched that onto the bat perfectly. Everything was in the right place there. He fairly raced to the boundary. The bowler looks most unimpressed with that. That had four runs written all over it the moment he left his back. Beautiful stroke. 
Four more. Lovely timing there. He played that beautifully. He was a bit fortunate there. He hit it a bit uppish, but luckily not at a field. No ball. He's having problems with his run up out there. Good shot and good stop too. That's a calamitous over. No run scored. No ball. He's having some problems with his run up out there. Great stroke play. That was for the moment it left the bat. Great shot. That'll give him some confidence. Let's look at that again. So, new batsman at the crease now for India. How did you feel when a batsman pulled you for four, Shane? Look, when any, any batsman hit you for four, it doesn't matter what sort of shot it was, it uh, was annoying, but I'd always have another chance in the next ball. The batsmen changed their minds. Just one there. Seven runs came from that over. That's a sensational shot. If you want to show the kids the perfect way to play the shot, then there's a fine example. No runs off that delivery.
He's played that beautifully. That's raced away to the fence. Everything was in the right place there. It fairly raced to the boundary. I think the bowler liked that too His timing's perfect today. No ball. He's having problems with his run-up out there. No run scored. 19 runs off the over. This will be his last over. Required run rate has crept up to around eight and over. Great stop. No runs off that delivery. Beautiful timing. That was a fine shot before. He looks in fine form. Another single for the batsman. Shot. That's four all the way. I think the ball like that too much. Very expensive over indeed. So, the off-spinner with the last of his allotted overs. No run taken off that ball. That's a cracking shot. The ball really races over this outfield. Effortless. You hardly seem to hit it. Yes. Cracking shot. He really does look in excellent form. He found the gap with precision.
good shot and good stop too nothing scored there great shot that's over the infield and racing away before that was beautifully put away for four No run there. Very expensive over. So, his final over then. One more to Sundries. So when assessing a batsman's technique, how important is his basic stance? Look, there's a lot of different things you look at about a batsman's technique and find and trying to find a weakness. I think the way he holds his grip, what his stance is like, is it open, is it tight? Great shot. He's hit that into the middle of next week. Launched for another six. Brilliant timing. Crowd applaud a great night. This has been an explosive innings of real flair. No ball. No ball. Oh, great shot. Hit the gap beautifully. Four runs. That was a cracking shot. He really got in a good position there. It's all over. There's the winning run.